involved with Joseph um, Moonbite. So tell That's me exactly about Moonbite. Yeah, no, we think it's really cool. And honestly, I'm like, what's happening here? Yeah, great question <laughs> and totally valid because it is the world's first electric snow bike. So if you could imagine riding a dirt bike on the snow, floating through powder, feels a lot like skiing. It is entirely unique, totally new experience. So I'm assuming it's like kind of the ski that guides the the bike forward, correct? Yeah, absolutely. It's almost like a snowboard, kind of. Yeah, if you actually look at the ski, what you can kind of see here, and this is what's totally different than anything else, it really is actually a ski. So we have a ski manufacturer that makes it for us, and so it feels a lot like if you were actually skiing on the mountains, except it's entirely propelled, except you're sitting and riding. Born and Colorado. Um, if we think about this bike, one of the biggest things about it, we wanted to really democratize what we would call winter mobility. So tell me, what does that mean to you? Because we hear that a lot. I'm in mean, marketing, um, you know, buzzwords. buzzwords. Yeah. So what does that really mean to you? So it's actually a really funny story. Our founder and CEO is French, and he was staying at his grandparents' cabin out in the woods. Snow is dumping down in the winter, and he realizes, okay, in the summer we can ride a skateboard, we can drive cars, we can do all of these things, but in the winter, what do we have? We have a snowmobile. It's yeah. loud, smelly, yep. heavy, very expensive, all of these things. Right. And as someone who is passionate about environmental protection and sustainable recreation, yeah. how do we create a product that expands the offering in the winter and is right. available to really anyone? And what I mean by that is, if we think about a snowmobile, they are hundreds and hundreds of pounds. What we have here is 190 all in. So it's very lightweight. Extremely lightweight, easy to operate and maneuver. And then the biggest thing is, hey, some people love gearheads and yeah. they love to tinker with cars, but not everyone can do that. So the biggest thing that we have on here with the track is a patented uh, system in which it's a direct drive hub motor. Okay. All right. Now I've seen the back, and it does make me think of like that snowmobile type of situation. Totally. The biggest difference, though, is rather than having any chains or belts in the system like a snowmobile would have, right? It's all propelled directly from here. So that's yeah. twofold. One, it takes advantage of what electric offers. Immediate torque output, right? There's right. no loss of efficiency within that system. You're not yeah. having to overpower anything to control right. and drive it. And also, there's very little maintenance because the componentry is drastically reduced. So really keeping in line with, let's create a vehicle anyone could use. So we say, I mean, anyone is, a, is very broad. So sure. if we were to say, like, who really is your target customer, or who have you seen purchase the bikes over the last, um, I guess, four or five years, you were established, what, 2018? Correct, yeah, so yeah. we started in 2018. We've been building and selling production volumes globally for the last three years. Years. Wow. And this is kind of the close of our first year in North America. That's so yeah. Um, but as far as who's really using it, we've seen everyone truly from the adventure type persona, someone who loves being outdoors, yeah. the eco conscious consumer, someone who wants to still do those types of things, right. but in a way that's uh, sustainable. And then also, we really feel this is a blue ocean in the sense that we're tapping into markets that no yeah. one else is tapping into on the winter mobility side. So are you primarily direct to consumer at this point? So we actually have both models here in North America. So we do have an e-commerce platform, so we are direct to consumer. Yeah. But then there's a huge, huge uh, market that we're seeing on the resort, ski of resort, course. that side, yeah, both smart. both as like a rental program to drive ROI, but also in a utility yeah. capacity. And also it positions these resorts as being innovative, up with totally. up and coming technologies and not, you know, stuck in the past. As well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean it's it's a really exciting time in what we would call the micro mobility space, right? And yeah. and particularly on the east side, we're all extremely passionate about environmental right. protection. Of course. Um, and so we want to be able to ski this year and we want to be able to ski fifty years from now. So right. what can we do to ensure that those future generations get to enjoy those same things? Do you have a projected life cycle for one of these? Like, what do you mean? In terms of how long you think one will last? Because you mentioned, 
you know, really thinking into the future, like I want this to last X number of years, or just thinking about, you know, forward thinking. Sure. So how long would one be able to enjoy one of these before it needs to be replaced? Great question. So I'll answer it in two ways. One, the warranty on the bike is two years. Got the it. battery life cycle is 800 cycles. That's fully charged, fully depleted, one cycle. That said, we have operations that have been running in a rental capacity uh, for the last three years. So yeah. meaning two to three rides every day, right. all the time, and they're still the same models that they bought three years ago. Got you. Very cool. So two more questions for you. Sure. Um, what is the price point? 8,900 USD. Okay. For so, everything that you would need to operate. Gotcha. For. So definitely not for everyone. But <laughs> Well, you know, I, what I would say is if we think about it, if you want to play in the winter space, yeah. maybe not for everyone, but at the same time, if you wanted to play right. in the winter space, a snowmobile, a right. new snowmobile is going to cost you 13 right. to 14 grand. Right. So it's certainly more accessible. Oh, yeah. I definitely think it's super smart that you're targeting the resorts. I think that's really a good play. Um, a question I want to ask everybody I'm talking to at sure. CES. What is your mission statement? Because we support mission-driven companies who are trying to make a difference in the world. So what would you say your mission statement is? To truly change the way that we think about winter mobility. Okay, love it. Thank you so much. This has been fun. Really appreciate your time. Thank you, guys. All right. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye.